on this video was a question if we can use a self-hosted super base as well for our application we built with bolt.diy check out this video if you don't know what i'm talking about but i want to show you shortly how to install uh, the self-hosted super base so you can test out your stuff locally so i opened here the task list advanced which is linked in the description then you can go here to self-hosted Superbase installation, open it and you see the complete task list we go through. Okay, the requirements are Git and Docker installed. If you don't know how to do it, see the linked video on top right. And then we can go on with the next steps. So the first step is to clone the Git repository. Therefore, copy the command here with the copy button go to a folder where you want to clone it to. I have a YouTube folder here. Then you can just type CMD here in the prompt to open a terminal in this folder directly, which is pretty nice. And then we can, with right click, just paste this command. Okay, it's now cloning the repository. And now this is done we can check it in the task list then we have to go to the clone directory and in this folder directly in the docker folder where is where are the files for docker so we can just list them with there and you can see here is a docker compose file and this is what we need to start okay we check this in the task list and before we can start the docker, we need to uh, copy the env file where are all settings for the, yeah, all configurations for Superbase. So just copy the example file to .env. Okay, this command is wrong. I just saw for a window, so it needs to be a copy for windows. On Linux, it's CP. I will um, edit this before launching this video. And as soon as this file is created or copied, we can go here directly to our folder, Superbase, Docker, and then we see here our example or ex our example and the enter copied file. So yeah, you can also do it here and directly copy paste with control C and control V. Doesn't matter. Then we open it with an editor. And I put it here in full screen. And then you can see here are all configuration for our local um, self-hosted super base. So here's the password for Postgres, for example. Here's the Anon key um, you need then for your application. Here's the service role key and so on. So everything you can see in the cloud version um, on the dashboard, you have to look up here in the ENV file because for the self-hosted Superbase version, there is no dashboard. That's, that's always just one project. So all we did is just one project. If you need a second project, you would need to create a second Docker stack. Okay, um, I leave everything for now here standard, except one thing, because this will make problems if you don't configure your uh, email SMTP server. And uh, this is line 69, the confirmation, confirmation of new users. So if they sign up, sign up, it will send an email normally, as we've seen in the, the other video. And we don't want this because I don't want to configure the email server for testing. So let's just um, change this to true. So we don't need uh, this uh, configuration, this confirm, and the rest is fine. So just one hint, this is for development. If you really want to use it in production, you have to, you should change everything here. So the passwords and so on to make sure it is secure. So this is just for, yeah, it's also mentioned here. 
on top. So for local testing, it's totally fine. So we leave it like that. Okay, the next step then is, uh, it's marked this as checked. The next step is to start up the containers. So start up Superbase, go back to the terminal. We can clear it, um, CLS, clear it and right click to paste and we start it up. Okay, as you can see, it's now starting all containers. What we also can verify in Docker Desktop in a second. So as soon as they are downloaded, we can already see it here, I guess, yeah. <clears throat> it's downloading the images at the moment. There, there they come. And as soon as they are all finished, yeah, we can check the containers here as well. So let's wait. Now it is everything done. As we can see in the background, all started up, all created, and we are fine. We can now take a look here in Docker. There's now the super base with, let me make it bigger, with all containers in it. All are up and running. If you want to check the logs, just click directly on super base and it will show all logs from all containers here. You can also click single containers to check their logs. And what's also interesting here maybe at some point is the inspect tab and then here env where you can see the actual environment variables. So if something is wrong and you don't know if it is actually correct, just go here and take a look if they are set correctly. So for debugging purpose. Now, as this is all up and running, we can open Superbase in the browser. Open localhost port 8000 and it asks for a login. So we can look this up in our env file as that before. And if we go here in line 10 and 11, we see dashboard username and dashboard password. So the username is Superbase by default. Let's copy paste it here. And the password is this super secure password here. Just copy it, paste it here, sign in. Yeah, we want to save it for now. Let me close this in the back. Then we can quickly check this uh, in the checklist and we can go on. So the installation is done. We have our super base here. And yeah, as you can see, you are directly within one project, not as uh, in super base online where you can see multiple projects and manage them. So you also don't have the data API tab here where you can see your project URL and stuff. So this is all within the env file. So you have to get it from here. Um, as you can see, we have a empty database now here and let's do a quick example. So change our database for the, the multi uh, task list we implemented in the last video. So let's go, I've got it here. This is the project we built with Bolter DIY. If you looked it, you know there is a statement, statements.sql file, where we can copy the, the SQL query from to create the tables. So let's copy and paste this here to the SQL edit editor, run it here on the top, uh, bottom right. Everything successful. Let's check the tables. Yeah, tables are there. And then we go back. We open a CMD here. Let's install the dependencies with npm install. Everything fine. Run the project. Okay, to do management app is uh, running, but we get a white page because we didn't configure the new Superbase app. So what we need to do is in our to do manager multi user, we also have a env file, as you may know from the last video, and we have to configure the super base URL and the anon key. So we can get this from the env file from super base. So the anon key is here in line eight. Copy it here. 
and the URL is just the same as we got in the browser. It's localhost 8000, unless you changed anything, but this is the default. And let's check the terminal. As you can see, it recognized uh, the ENV file changed, so it restarted the server automatically. And now, as you can see, it already reloaded the page as well, and we got uh, the working app. Um, let's quickly go back here in Superbase authentication. As you can see, there is no user, so we can now test if the sign up is working. We are now on sign up. Let's do um, test at test.de, password test test, sign up. And as you can see, it worked. We are instantly logged in. And if we go back to the users here, click refresh, our user is there. And we also got him here in the profiles, I guess, I hope. Let's refresh, yes, it's already here. Let's check out if the to-do is also working. Test, test, pick a date, yes. And select the user, just have one user. And we got a to-do here. Let's verify this as well in the database. Go to do's and refresh here on the bottom. And it's working. Yeah, that's it. As you can see, Superbase self-hosted is also working. You have to know a few things like there is no management uh, dashboard to manage multiple projects and uh, data um, configuration is all in the environment file. But yeah, other than that, it's straightforward and you can use it as well. Okay, if you need additional configuration, you can also check out the Superbase documentation itself. I linked it here in the task list. So if you struggle with something or need additional information, check out this documentation. And yeah, also maybe if you need it for installing on a VPS, um, yeah, then you need a set to change the other environment variables. Okay, let me know what you think if you managed to do it and Hope this helps. See you in the next one. Bye.